Gail here from Seattle Coffee Gear, and I wanted to show you one of the newer machines, semi-automatic, put out by DeLonghi. You know, DeLonghi always makes um, a lot of improvements on their machines, and they have a lot of features for the price point. And at this point of filming, it's under $300. Of course, that can change, so don't hold it against me, please. Um, 33 ounce water tank right back here. That's a fairly good size for a machine like this. Uh, it is compact this way, which in a smaller kitchen, apartment size, you know, studio apartment, you don't have a lot of real estate going this way. Everything stays the same depth wise. So you get, you know, they're making it a little taller, skinnier this way, packing the components in there. Uh, single boiler machine, pressurized baskets that go inside the portafilter and it comes with three baskets. This is the double pressurized, and you can see there's a bunch of holes up here, one hole back here. That's what makes for pressurized. Single basket and one for pods, which are those little pre-measured coffee um, packets that look like a tea bag. Deluxe scoop with tamper, right? Not really deluxe. Aluminum portafilter right here. Nice black plastic handle. Drip tray under here that comes out for cleaning like that. Has your early warning so that the coffee doesn't, or the excess water doesn't spill all over the countertop or the front of you if you're moving the machine like I do all the time. I get it all over myself. Uh, stainless steel clad um, uh, casing here, which is, means a stainless steel covering on plastic. Uh, what else has it got? Uh, it has a Panarello steaming wand over here, which makes it foolproof so that it will do the steaming for you as far as injecting a lot of foam, a lot of air to make the foam, so you don't have to be real precise about it. Comes off for cleaning, just like that. Nice rubber handle on here so that don't, don't burn yourself. Also, the portafilter articulates in this direction, plus it goes like this. Lots of clearance here to get the frothing pitcher under there. The other thing that this has is a lot of programmability that other machines at this price point don't have. If you hold on the steam button for about, I think it's 10, 15 seconds, you'll get uh, flashing lights. And also, depending on which one of these buttons you push, you can program the temperature. There's three different ranges for temperature. You can program um, the how quickly it goes off, everything from nine minutes up to a couple of hours, I think it is. So it'll go in an, an automatic shutdown mode. Um, you could, it does a descale, automatic descale if you get in there. You put the descaling agent in with the water, uh, put something under here, get into the descale mode, it'll automatically run the water, let it sit, run the water, let it sit. So that's a feature none of the other machines have at this price point. Um, so temperature on off, descale. The other thing that it also uh, you can program is the volume of your shots. You don't have to get into the steam button to do that. You just simply hold the button on until it starts flashing, brew until you've got what you want, push the button again, and now it's programmed the next time to do that same thing. So I say, let's give it a run around the block and see what you can do. We'll get some milk, we'll get some ground coffee, and you don't have to be as fussy about the coffee on this because it is a pressurized system. So we're gonna brew and steam and make our latte, cappuccino. We'll see how it comes out. So what I'm going to do is ask it to come up to steam temperature. It stopped blinking. If it was blinking, it would be not hot enough. So we're going to steam. And first, we're going to purge this. All right. You want to get, see that water? You don't want that in your milk. So you, that's why you purge it. So this automatically sucks in uh, the air to incorporate to make your foam. So there isn't much technique involved in it. You don't have to be a pro. I have a 20 ounce frothing pitcher here. I'd probably use a 12 or a 16 with this machine, but this is what was sitting here, so I'm using it. Um, that's a lot of milk to be frothing. Probably enough for two people.
It's starting to get hot. All right, that's hot enough. So typically, like with every other machine, you want to wipe this off to keep it clean because the milk will get all nasty on there. Now, to cool this down, because now it is too hot, and this is telling me that it is. With the steam button off, if you turn this lever, you're going to get water. And what that's going to do, it's going to do a couple of things. It takes cold water, brings it into the boiler, and cools it down faster than if you just waited for it to happen. And then it cleans out the, uh, the, the, the uh, nozzle on the steam arm, and it also warms up your cup for pre-brewing. So that's another thing this machine does, uh, FYI. You, you notice when I'm going to do the coffee here, it actually does a pre-infusion, pre wait time, and then brew time. That's another thing no other machine in this level is going to do. Pre-infusion, wait time, now brew. Look at that foam. Not bad. I started here and now I'm up here. All right. I made more of a ristretto out of that double shot. All right. <laughs> I know you're all out there sitting there with anticipating latte art. Well, you know it's not going to probably happen. But, you know, I try sometimes. Well, that's my popular garlic. I can do those on demand. <laughs> garlic coffee. Let's see what it tastes like. That's what counts. Mmm, boy, that's smooth. Mmm. Mmm, taste, yummy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Pretty good. So, if I had a knockbox here, I would knock out this. Uh, you, this does not have a three-way solenoid valve, so you're going to get a soupy puck. That was, that's one of the cons of any of these types of machines. So pros and cons. Um, a con. No three-way solenoid valve, but at this price point, you're never going to get that. It's a little bit lightweight on the countertop. It wiggles a little bit, but that's kind of a typical thing too. Pros. Uh, Pre-infusion, wait time, brew time, all programmable, temperature that you can change, uh, auto uh, go into eco mode, uh, auto descale, those are all pros. And stainless steel clad casing, which makes it look good at that price point. Um, Panarello, that's a pro or a con, depending on what your viewpoint is. It's easy to make the milk, but a lot of people like more control, so it depends on how you look at it. That's the Delonghi. Dedica, check it out on our webpage. Leave us some comments. We always love to hear back from the customers about you know what they think the pros and cons are, or if they you have something you want us to review or take a look at, put it in the comments down below. We look forward to hearing from you guys. And subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. We always appreciate that and look forward to sending you links to all the different videos that we put up and hope they help you out in making your choice. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you.